hello people just uh, waiting for my co co anchor to arrive sarah sarcastic whiskey ranch so we're doing a little um, tasting on uh, on the uh, the drinks from the belfast whiskey week two stacks pack because we had uh, yeah we wanted to try out something uh, a bit more interactive or something like that yeah and now we'll see here if i can go live person here we'll see if it works it's always uh, it's always an adventure to to connect with people yeah hello hello oh, how are you oh 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 wait one second i've messed up here i think uh, what have you done well uh, you can hear me or something like that but it's, I can hear you. It's, so it's not uh, it's not bouncing back and forth the sound I can see and hear you just fine. Okay, that's weird. Um, Good evening, Film and Barrel. <laughs> okay, so so no sound issues at all. Not that I can hear. How about your end? No, it works very good because I've connected my external microphone and I'm supposed to have a headphone, but I forgot that. So I just realized right now that, whoa, this would be a problem, but it isn't a problem. So I was just that's telling people crazy. that, uh, oh, perhaps I should pour this uh, someplace else. It doesn't mess up the sound. I was telling people that we are going to do a uh, two stacks uh, tasting. And yes, from Belfast Whiskey Week, there was some uh, sound issues when we were watching. Um, so we we got the gist of it, but I would say it wasn't um, couldn't hear them the entire time. Um, so hopefully, no sound issues here. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope so because it was a. Yeah, I, I didn't really make up what they said. And uh, it's, I think it's always harder when you're like three persons uh, connecting to one mic. And I, I couldn't uh, apparently um, couldn't connect with one mic and one camera. So I'm pretty stupid, <laughs> yes. Uh, first off, I, I'm supposed to, to show something today that um, yeah. arrived. And it was, show this uh, off. Yeah. It was, this is uh, amazing. Time well spent. By two stacks, yes. This is something quite special um, produced by the lads. Um, and have you tried it yet? I haven't. Uh, cool stuff, though. If you buy this pack, there's a few left on Irish Malt, I think. Uh, is it better? No, great. Right. No, I don't think so. Um, uh, it's also uh, included a song. Uh, and I think there's okay. some left at Irish Malt. And these just just not supposed to, to, to mess anything up now. Yeah. I love the glass. See. The glass is just beautiful. Look at that. That's stunning. Yeah. That's so it's, uh, that it's a 2001 single cask, single malt, uh, and uh, 2009 single cask, single grain. So I mean, th these are pretty unusual, and it's around 115 euros, I think. Uh, and uh, then you have to pay for some sort of shipping as well. But I mean, it's it's, it's a cheap price for this stuff. So um, yeah. Yeah, no, it's beautiful it as well. Yeah, no, I thought you should show that off before we got before we delved into to this uh, tasting. The craziness. Yeah. Yeah. So so short off, I can also also say that this was included in the in the two stacks pack. It's the Yes, that uh, was yum. Brion that from Brion Bre Brew House, uh, Oak and Mirrors. It's uh, it's the beer cat beer that they uh, finished the the stout in the stout cask it's whiskey. White. It was dark, and but it wasn't. It, it felt. It looks like it should be heavy, but it's not. It's 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 complex, and it feels very. I don't know how, what other word to describe it, but dark. It's just so. It's lovely, but it doesn't feel heavy. It looks like it should feel really heavy in the mouth, but it's not, and it's not too heavy going down. I really enjoyed that. You it mine's it? gone. Mm, oh impressive. yeah, mine's gone. Mine's completely so, gone. So 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 women can drink both whiskey and beer nowadays. Yeah. That is true. Yes, oh. yes, yes. Uh, as I was explaining to the mansplainer in um, the grocery <laughs> store the other day, yes, eh, we are quite capable. <laughs> I yeah, know you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's we live in messed up times. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm just yeah. Uh, I'm just joking and jesting. I know yeah. you are. I know so, you are. <laughs> uh, let's get into to the yeah, first off the sample bottles uh, from Belfast Whiskey Week are like fifty mil or something like that, so it's good enough for two drams or uh, uh, <laughs> two it's persons. Unless you're like me, 
Unless you pour like me, um, usually it's just one drum for me. Mansplainer, you don't know what mansplainer means, film and barrel. It means um, it's when a, a bloke comes up to a woman and explains something that she didn't ask to be explained and that she probably already knows about. And I was I was in the grocery store the other day, just having a look at the um, at the whiskeys as I do, and some bloke just started talking to me about whiskeys and how complex they are and how he could help me pick them out. I was just. Uh, Thanks, mate, but I got it. Anyways, so what is yeah. this lovely drop? Uh, this first lovely drop is a Smoke and Mirrors Imperial Coffee Stout Cask Finish. Mm -hmm. Also a very long name for that one. It's 56%. And mm -hmm. uh, I bet that this is uh, finished in the, perhaps in the, in the beer I'm just having, actually. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. think that's, I think that's correct. But this actually, it does, I think as I smell it, the final smell that I get is actually quite mocha. Um, so I, it does feel like you get a coffee-ness to it. I don't know if you smell that, but initially it's really sherry. I get apricot, icing, sugar, a lot of sweetness, even some peppery, white pepperness. But at the final sort of smell going into my nostrils, I guess, to put it less than eloquently, is the sort of mocha smell. Yeah, just a dark roast uh, yeah. flavor to it and a scent as well. And um... I mean, it's a pretty, pretty alcohol strong it is. Uh, whiskey we're trying. So I haven't had a chance for this one to 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 use any water or anything and uh, to open it up or something like that. If people do that, I don't know. People say it's possible. I don't know. Um, but I'm buying a bottle later on when the, the next dram is uh, released, if you understand what I, I mean. I'm going to I have I practice both neat and with a few drops of water and neat it is quite lovely but if mm. you put a few drops of water in it it also does open it up I, I could say um, if that's how you like it I think it's good both ways it's quite yeah. strong but it, it doesn't come off as too assaulting to your senses so you can have it neat but if you want to put some drops of water in it I would say go for it, it opens we're, we're doing it. Uh, one to three from the pack uh, mm -hmm. from the, and there's a fourth actually included uh, in the dram set, and that's an apricot brandy cask, and it's one of the strongest whiskies that I've I've had. I think I don't know if it's around sixty percent, something like that. You have to to use water in that one, I think at least. Uh, a little it bit, takes yeah. Your but, teeth out. but I think you and I agree that one's still quite smooth, mm -hmm. even with the high um, alcohol content. Yeah. It's still just absolutely lush. It's a very very lush dram, and mine is gone. Mine is absolutely gone but yeah and i even sent you a sample and that went away like wildfire as well i think yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> but this is this is lovely quite i think it kind of goes it almost tastes floral to me um i don't i usually you smell floral but it tastes floral not in a bad way not like i'm drinking perfume but it's got a sort of floral sweetness and then a pepperiness at the end it's, it's lovely i would i would uh I think this is a great thing and it's quite unusual. I don't see many um, whiskeys that would put things in it, a coffee stout cask finish. That's pretty yeah. cool. And I get some like of the, the coffee bitterness at the, at the very end of it. Uh, I mean, it has a sweetness um, mm. in, in the start, but when, I'm, when my mouth is beginning to dry off and, and empty, it has like the, the coffee bitterness. Uh, the coffee, coffee is always, yeah. I find it a bit at least. Like the coffee grounds almost. Mm. It's good. Absolutely lovely. I think it's a, a very lovely, lovely dram. Yeah, and I like when you we don't when you don't start. To, I mean, in evolution, the whiskey it starts off like it has this honey sweetness, and then in the on the palate it has honey sweetness, and it smells sweet, and it has like a medium short sweet. What the fuck is that? That's drinking syrup. I mean, you want an evolution where you get something at the the nose Absolutely. that invites you, and you want the complexity and you want to switch it over to something else and that's uh, so mm -hmm. the guy at, at the, the grocery store is right it is complex uh, if it's a good whiskey but you don't have to explain it to anyone uh, i mean it's, it's like at the gym you know when you go up to a woman yeah uh, so uh, you know you should be doing your bending the knees a bit more and yeah i'm a little bit weightlifter oh okay. <laughs> bye bye <laughs> Fair enough. Mm, um, fair enough. The, match, so, so. the match upper is asking us to rate these out of 10. So what would you give this one out of 10, would you say? Oh, the match upper. He's a, he's a dodgy man. Um, <laughs> I would say that uh, the first one I'd rate, I mean, around 7 to 8 or something like that. I, I mean, agree. If, if, you, if you strike a 10, it's, uh, it should never happen, I think. Because then it, it's all fucked up. 
Uh, someone saying they missed the beginning. We're trying Belfast Whiskey Weeks, two stacks, drams one, two, and three, um, which is two stacks Imperial Coffee Stout Cask Finish, which we've just tasted and uh, sort of rated because Mashupper asked us to. But yeah. should we move on to the next one? No, no, you're not a dodgy person, the Mashupper. He's, he's a lovely guy. And he, yeah. I think he attended like one million tastings during the Belfast Whiskey Week or something like that. So. Uh, it's pretty amazing to, to see the Lesson. people getting behind the festival in that sense. I worked, so I had to to, to rest my liver and uh, attend the stuff that I could attend. So that's, no, that's you're not fair. a dodgy person, the mashup. You're, you're a good person. You're a good guy. I'm just messing with you. I have to do that. It's Friday. It is Friday, yeah. and it feels like a good Friday. I think. <laughs> yeah, the good Friday. Um, moving on, uh, and this is if I can get it open. This is uh, also Smoke and Mirrors, uh, Imperial PX Stout cask, blah, 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 finish. And the ABV yeah. on the first, I'm betting it wasn't included in, in, the, in the It pack, wasn't but, included. I think it was um, around 54%, though. 56, I think it is. I checked it up on Irish this, Whiskey app. Yeah, this uh, one, though, it's 56%. The one, that, the second yeah. one, this one is 56 APV. I think both are. Yeah. Both would be. Oh, okay, uh, not bad. Yeah, no, this one is definitely... But this one, I mean, they, ooh, yeah, well, um, I'm, I'm not going to say anything before I tried it because, no. Mm. Not going to say anything? Not yet. Mm. No, mm. This one takes a little bit of getting used to. I'm getting a slight burn when I smell, but um, I get some raisins, but it's a bit subdued sherry. It's, it smells like it's a, a sherry, really. It's very thick. Uh, it is. I, you could, it smells like you're going to have to chew on this, to be yeah. honest. But um, I don't recall that I did. But uh, let me just try it again. Hmm. Oops. Mm. And see, I love this because you can taste stout on it. I think that's really cool. You know, you taste think. stout half finish and you can taste it. And it's like having a big stout without the fillingness of having a stout. Um, but then I also get sort of some sweet jamminess to it, but I think that's the chewiness of it. It's quite a, a thick whiskey, I would say. Um, yeah, at, on, on the nose, it, it has a lot of the, the sherry notes, I would say, like the, mm -hmm. uh, the classic sherry, sherry notes. And um, I agreed on the, the stout, it always, a stout finish or stout maturation, if you don't, you can't have that, I think. Um, it smooths out the whiskey, so it gets uh, mm -hmm. softer. I think I, um, so. You can yeah, manage a high high ABV point, but uh, this is I love this. So uh, yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, I, I really really much like it, and I think that this this particularly, if I understood everything right, and if uh, if Shane uh, or Lee or Donald has anything to say, I don't think they're watching it. They can comment something like that, but. Uh, I think that it's going to be exclusive to their website, uh, Germany and Canada, something like that, and Asia, of course. I didn't realize yeah. that. Um, they can they can probably, um, I, they might watch it later, and then um, if they could comment, let us know, guys. Yeah, yeah. and I told my friend Sean Kincaid in, uh, in Canada that this is, uh, this is getting there, so he, he had like a, a minor meltdown about it uh, because they're getting kilo and everything, so the, the core range is going to Canada and the U.S., and they're very happy about it. So, so Sean, um, he knows the importer in Canada or something like that. It's his podcast. Good connection to have. Yeah. So if you watch, watch this, Sean, you, you need to get this. And uh, I need to Absolutely. buy it as well. And I think this is something I think you could take a long time to drink yeah. because it lasts a long time. Um, one of those times you say it has a long finish. This is one I could sip mm. and then put down and then sip again. And I could really enjoy it for a full hour. Um, you know, some you just want to, you know, gulp down, but this one is really one to be enjoyed over mm -hmm. a long period of time, I would say, because um, it's quite... percent I mean, you can play around yeah. with this, uh, and people say, well, it's it's only like this and this, this and that bigger bottle, and it's, it's this and that uh, many euros and shit like that, and uh, pretty simple, though, you don't have to drink as much to appreciate it, you can water it down, you can do anything, you, you can do a lot of things with uh, with a stronger whiskey that you can't do with a 40% whiskey because you water down a 40% whiskey, you kill it, basically I think. I, I wouldn't put water in a 40% whiskey, 
never no 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 i, I wouldn't have if, if, if you do if you do that's that's fine but mm. i this one i think this is quite a versatile thing so you can have it neat and really enjoy it over a long period or have a bit of water and open it up and um but very enjoyable dram very i don't know the, as you said i think the stout really smooths it out and i, I enjoy it a lot the, the px it, it lifts out the i mean on the nose you balance balance shit up a lot i think i mean it, you use the sherry to the PX to, to do something with with the inviting sense of play, and then you move on to the stout and you pick up the flavors. I really like it. And Absolutely. just to make things clear, if you want to add water to forty percent whiskey, hello whiskey gram. Yeah. Uh, whiskey okay. gram. It's called. It's a, is it pronounced gram? Or is it gram? Gram. Yeah. Gram. Hello. I probably say it wrong. In fact, one of my one of my mates' uh, husbands is called Gram, and I think I say his name wrong, and I'm really sorry that I do. But um, yeah, I'm. Ignorant American still. I'm someday. Swedish. I can say that about it. Uh, I can say that all the time. Uh, Stout cast yeah. calls my favorite finish. It's not very common, though. No. It's, it's true. Not, you yeah. don't get very many stout. I, I had one um, with Glenfiddich um, in back in December, and that was lovely as well. But I, I haven't seen it since. And I think you're right. You don't see stout finishes very much. But I think I think they're underutilized because they're magnificent. The Dublin, um, uh, the Dublin brand has released the stout finish. Well. Okay, yeah. right. Good to know. If you're interested yeah. in Irish whiskey. Um, yeah. So let's move on to number three. And um, I have to take out my notes here because it has... Uh, and I'm switching glasses now as well. So I'm going Are to you? this glass. Very this nice. Is, uh, this is uh, a glass from a secret organization that I'm a, that I'm a member of. So uh, I can't say anything about... That's fair what it's called actually it's not a cult or is it yeah well the name of this is is pretty cool background on it and the name is a kiloan founders cask one year oat heavy pot still in oros and it's one year uh, so it, i mean it's like a novel and i know that you've renamed it for convenience I, I have renamed it because that's too damn long so i'm just calling it brendan's oat surprise because i'm sorry that is a that's lovely but that's a stupidly long name and i'm calling it brendan's oat surprise and um yeah I so I renamed it. if you want to um if you want to you know brand that copyright it that's my gift to you because Kalawan's founder cast one year, oat heavy pot still, sherry butt is just too damn long, Brandon. Well, I, I actually told him that you renamed it, so he had a good time. <laughs> I renamed it. it. Uh, yeah. Brandon, and, uh, <laughs> and, and I'm I, very sad. I'm very sad. This is the last of this. And I'm actually um, <laughs> really, really curious. I think this is the only stuff available. I don't know. Please, uh, Brendan or someone, correct me if this is the only stuff available. But I absolutely loved this, and I would buy it a bo I would buy a bottle of this. But I don't know if it's available as a bottle. I think no, it was no, just no. Yeah. To be clear about it, this is uh, this is not anything yet. It's I mean it's a uh, it's a pot still that's one year old, so it's it's going to be a whiskey at some point. I don't, and it's a I don't care. Really good. Yeah, I, I don't care. It's amazing. If you look behind me, over there, and you see the see the the Kruger, and that's yes. uh, that, and that's the pochin that's been seasoned with um, with beer flavors. And I mean, if you like this, you would you would love that because it has so so much similarities in in the in the flavor I, and the nose. So I, um, absolutely. Um, I've never tasted anything like this, and I I love it. I love it so much, and um, just. The smell is kind of earthy and like when you're raking leaves, you know, the smell of the leaves as they turn over um, in the autumn. Um, that's what it smelled like to me. It was really a stupid memory, but that's what it reminded me of. It also reminds me, I have my youngest son eats almost nothing but oats. And so that's obviously with this oat heavy thing, it smells like porridge a little bit. So what but, you're saying um, is you're going to give this to him. It, it's, it's not allowed. He, no, he the kid, right. uh, it, so he can't have any. He's only four. <laughs> but this is really nice, and I'm gonna I'm gonna borrow something. Uh, the malt maiden. Um, I went to Isla with her yeah. quite recently. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I went to Isla with her quite recently, and she was drinking a dram, and she says, "Sarah, this is sparkling." And I was like, "You're describing a whiskey as sparkling," and she's like, "Yeah." It's like, okay, whatevs. Um, but. To be honest, this, 
I get it now because this is this really sort of bursts onto the scene in your mouth and and has a sort of champagne sparkling presence on the tongue. I like it. It's really lovely. And um yeah, it's just it's a sexy tingly drink. I love it. And that's why I'm saying that you would love uh, a well-made cuisine like the ones I have behind me. Um Yes. I, I mean, uh, I had a wee chat with Brendan on, on Messenger and uh, I told him that you liked this one and he said we were both in agreement that, I mean, smaller the still and more contact with the, the flavor of the liquid to, to the still. Mm -hmm. You can't hide the flavor if you have a smaller still. I mean, if you mass produce whiskey, you will lose something. So. I wouldn't like that. Uh, many say so. Oh, can't you expand? Can't you buy a bigger still to like Kilowen or Boliak or and those uh, those uh, distilleries? I say no, no, no. Fuck that. Buy more small. Absolutely. This, I Never mean, mix, this... don't, don't enlarge or buy anything larger because it, it's just going to mess up the flavors that you work with. Yeah, and this is so flavorful. I, uh, mm. I, it's it's just got so much so much going for it and i would buy this like it's not even whiskey yet but i would buy an entire bottle of this it's yeah. so good and the answer so, is right there so if you get yeah those. No, well, i know <laughs> yeah, i know i know i know i well i, I do have a poutine but it, to be honest i'm not I, I don't want to try it because i want to try um a kalawan or a temporary poutine first because i i know that those will be amazing i think so, <laughs> so yeah. I kind of want those to be my first uh, pachines, but this is lovely. Um, and I'm really happy I got a chance to try this. Um, and I'm kind of sad this is going to be my last little drop of it. Yeah, it's still, um, I mean, you, like, like I always say, um, if you pour normal, if you pour like Sarah, because you do, you do big pours. Uh, and I drink a, a little less, but more often, I think. I mean, in the morning at lunch and so on. Uh, <laughs> I'm just joking. But, but anyways, um, the cool thing about this is that, that this is not, not a whiskey yet, and um, I'm not really sure. I have to correct me. I don't know how much oats in it, but uh, I wouldn't say that this is this constituted as a real pot still. If it's allowed to be called a pot still, because, I mean, it's a lot of regulations. Well, it's, in the, it's in the title. It's not in my new name, but um, it, 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 that's in the very long-winded title no. of it. So they have, I believe uh, it is. They have a lot of rules on uh, what's allowed uh, in, That's true. That's true. in the technical file and everything like that. But uh, they'll have to correct me on that. Uh, we didn't rate the uh, Smoke and Mirrors Imperial PX Stout class finish. I'll give that an 8, actually. I really love that. Um, it um, has a nice evolution. Uh, evolution that I can sit with that for a few yeah. days and look at it. I mean, I think so. Actually. I would give that one an 8 as well. Um, this one, I, I feel so silly giving this a 9. Um, because it's not whiskey, but again, I just can't emphasize this enough. This is this is amazing. I've never tasted anything like it. It's it's such a treat to have, cool um, to have stuff like this um, and to try and have porter. <laughs> you have to think about this as well. I mean, it's it's been it's been kept for one year. It's a one year matured liquid. So think about two years, three years, four years, five years. That's going to be amazing. If you, yeah, if you keep this whiskey for like eight years or ten years, you have that mm -hmm. you have that problem when you're a small distiller. How long can you keep something? You know it's a good liquid when you have to throw it out. And this is a founder's cask. So I'm thinking that uh, we have to thank Shane, Liam, and Donald for stealing this because it, it was actually like... Thank you. In, in, in the pack from, from two stacks, they mm -hmm. actually... Uh, they sampled the, the, the barrel and said that, uh, well, we'd like to, to pick out something because we're, we're among the founders here. So they picked out, uh, um, I, guess, I guess, about a bottle, I'd say, mm -hmm. um, to fill up for the, for the packs. I mean, that's, um, it's, a big, it's a big ask, at least. And I mean, it's, it's a great favor for the guys yes. to throw this in, in, into a pack. And that, uh, that two stacks pack was one of the best uh, it was, it was it. I mean, absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah. so, Complete uh, yeah. You got your yeah. feckin' dram in a can at least. You've been nagging on about it now. For oh yeah, year. I finally, finally got my dram in a can. <laughs> so, but I'm save, I'm saving that um, for a beach day in Scotland. You could um, come I'm down to London because I saw Donald sitting with like 500, um, 500 dram in a can on um, some sort of market or something like that. <laughs> but that's in the big city with the big city boys also. 
Uh, well, he can do London. I'll do Air Beach and just sit and look out at Aaron with my jam and a can because um, I'm saving it for a special occasion. Occasion because I know it's going to be amazing. But uh, the concept is is wonderful. Wow, look at that! You know what? Oh, are you going to try it? There's no plastic on these bottles, so people won't understand. I've opened them, so I can send them on. Um, you can fill them up with something. Uh, I mean. <laughs> grape juice or something like that. I will sell them on um, uh, Irish whiskey auctions or yeah, and <laughs> on that weird Facebook site where you buy lotto tickets or something like that. I mean, this, yeah. is, uh, this is a 20 year old Irish whiskey. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Jealous. It's my jealous and, I mean, weird, weird shift. This is a 56.5% ABV. That's amazing. And uh, it doesn't, I mean, it gets the flavors, but there's no burn at all. So this is this is an expensive drop. But you have to understand that if you keep uh, keep an old whiskey, uh, it's bound to lose, to lose liquid. So, I mean, the, the bottles get more expensive by the year. Mm -hmm. Of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know if I can keep these ones. Uh, not from drinking, you know. No, well, enjoy them, obviously. I mean, and uh, I think there's still some left. So if people are interested, do, do hit up the you? lads at Food Stacks. The lads at Food Stacks are very approachable, lovely lads. And um, they, they craft some amazing things. And um, I'm, I'm really happy that I've gotten to try so much of their, of their expressions. And they have um, the, their own um, for sales also on the twostacks.com website. So I mean, you can buy from from them yeah. directly, you don't have to go from an intermediary or something like that. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I hope and so Belfast, from that as well. <laughs> yeah, Belfast Whiskey Week may be over, but Two Stacks and all the other brands <laughs> march on. There'll be more expressions to come. And this, I have to tell you about this as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, because I've told you I should. Uh, Sarah sent me from her trip on Isle, and we're going to do, uh, I think, a Scotch whiskey tasting later on. Uh, hopefully at the end of the month or something like that and i would say in two or three weeks time we'll do a yeah. scotch tasting um that includes some lagavulin oh. <laughs> and then you'll tell me a bit about your adventures i hope my um, misadventures <laughs> yeah. um so thanks a lot for for the t-shirt uh, the the face isle t-shirt face eel i think the shield i believe yeah blah 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 yeah 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 it's only because I've spent time in Scotland that I know it is hard to, to sort of master the Scots tongue. Yeah, the Scots tongue. Uh, well, uh, we've been up to at least uh, around 25 minutes. So for those people that endured us and uh, think that uh, it was fun, I will post it on YouTube and I will also, so you can watch this later on, so I will have this on YouTube and Instagram uh, video post. I will just have to clean it up a bit and... Uh, Yes, and and the lads at Two Stacks and Brendan, please uh, correct anything that we might have said or miss said, um, and and more information because um, because I think people should know about these. Uh, not enough people do know. What are you done? Uh, yeah, it it didn't uh, wreck anything, but I made a plinging sound on my my glasses. I have a lot of glasses right. around and stuff mm -hmm. and bottles and shit. Um, yeah, so. I'll also, of course, tag them, and I will uh, do as well uh, in the in the on the YouTube channel. I'll share this on Twitter as well. So if you want to check it out later, I give it a uh, ten minutes or something like that. I'll have it up and running. So thank, thank you, you very much, Sarah. It's always a pleasure to have you. And, always a pleasure, uh, Robert. Yeah. Always, I love these. So uh, we'll do another one soon, hopefully two weeks time, and um, we'll see you and soon. We've, we've got friends. we've got light rings now as well. So I mean, we're almost professionals. Almost. Yeah. We don't get paid. Uh, thank <laughs> God, because if you're paid, you have to say nice things. Yeah, I'm always honest about the drams I taste, though, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I did rate the last one because it's not whiskey yet, but uh, give it a few years and this will be uh, very, very nice, lovely. Yeah. I mean, Brendan, the, the, the malt master of the Cologne, he hasn't misstepped yet, I'd say. I mean, uh, if no, you can, uh, um... Absolutely, he makes some stellar stuff. Yeah. I haven't been disappointed yet. And we're tasting the rum and racing as well later on. Yes, yeah. next um, next Irish tasting, we're doing uh, the Galston, um, the Kalawan rum and raisin, 
the oh help me out <laughs> yeah uh, we wrote this down didn't we um, uh, I'm, but, yeah. I'm getting stupid about a minute uh, no it's okay it's it's alcohol and children for me that makes me forget but we have yeah, some yeah, we have... i don't have an excuse but it's a galston clone and uh, something else something yeah we have two yeah, other we'll lovely get back on that. <laughs> <laughs> i can just check it like in two minutes after uh, yeah. but uh, yeah thank you very much uh, enjoy your weekend thank stay you. safe and uh, let's run for the next um, the next tastings the next festivals and uh, uh, for slanger adventures. Yeah, slanger. Take care. Have a bye good bye. night. Good weekend, everyone. Bye.